What's worse than Frank Black taking a dump in your parents' bathroom? Jake Fogelness tells us on this week's Worst Gig Ever. Peace. Jake Fogelnest, Hello. welcome to the show. That welcome, was stressful. My friends. That was very stressful. Can I say you look yes. ravishing? Th 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 thank. That's weird. Thank you. Well, no. I appreciate that's it. That's how I feel. I've never been called ravishing before. That's. I'm. Can I just take a moment to enjoy that? Breathe it in, brother. Do it. In. Yeah. That felt good. At first, I was uncomfortable, but then I was like, then I was like, no, it's a, it's, it's a, a lovely nice comment. thing, right? Ravishing. Who doesn't want you know, to be ravishing? The only other ravishing person I know is Rick Rude. Rick Rude? Ravishing Rick Rude. I, I thought you were... Uh, now you I'm rest just, in peace. Now I'm just thinking about Rick Rubin, who's not ravishing. <laughs> he is not ra But he ravishing. is on a couch somewhere with Jay-Z, and he needs to put his couch. shoes on. Yes. You seen that? <laughs> but it's just like, Rick Rubin just comes over, he's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna listen to this. He's got his shoes on. And he's like, go home, Rick Rubin. He is a guru. So... <laughs> Uh, right out, right off the bat. Uh -huh. Right off the bat? Right, right off, the bat. off the bat. That is the expression. Just, just, just get on that high diving board okay. and belly flop into a worst gig ever story. Worst gig ever story, okay. Uh, <laughs> there was a time where uh, we went, it was like an upright citizens brigade Torco situation. Uh -huh. And I want to say... We were in Albany, Buffalo, does it matter? I don't know. <laughs> those one of those state areas. areas. One of those places and um it, some place you can get a garbage plate. Sure. <laughs> and um I, I remember it was like um I think everyone was making a dollar, but for yes. some reason um Horatio Sands was with us, um who's the greatest and right. everything. Uh and we went up uh, to to this college and and we had to go get you know on on SNL hurry she was great Christmas song I wish yeah. it were Christmas today so uh, we had to go get the actual keyboard that her, that um, <laughs> I believe uh, Chris Kattan holds it and yes. Jimmy Fallon plays it and then Tracy Morgan's there for some reason uh, because that was the only way to play the song right. so we had to you need to find the terrible yeah. keyboard the, yeah. Yamaha Casio oh, yeah. Hammond B3 yeah, yeah, yeah it was a Hammond B3 yeah we had Classic. to I had to go I, we had to go to Speaker. Robert Moog's house <laughs> to get the very first yeah and then we went and borrowed John Spencer's uh, theremin <laughs> perfect and uh, and then we started Noi uh, no <laughs> so we went to go get this um, this keyboard and it's at Saturday Night Live like we had right. to like, we had to go to 30 Rock and it's <laughs> SNL. It's like very cool. It's just, you know, it's history is there, you know. Uh, Gail Mathias was in the building. <laughs> That's exactly who I was thinking. When you think of Saturday Night Live, Gail and you Mathias. think of all the, the kids love yes. Gail Mathias. Yeah, the, yeah, it's like, oh my God, am I really on the stage? <laughs> right. Where, uh, where, where Gilbert Gottfried and Denny Dillon once. Uh, <laughs> This what? is where the Charles Rocket walked. <laughs> where Jean Dumanian Jean, <laughs> led her, Jean led her troop. Yes, so so we're there, and you could feel all that history. Right. And um, we go and get the keyboard, and then I, I I think we we drive for I don't know 900 hours <laughs> in uh, a van, and uh, and and it's like. I don't even know why I was there, because I'm not really an improviser. <laughs> all right. I'm not. I've never right. been. Like, you, you want me to write some stuff? Sure. You want me to, you know, put, to put together a sketch show? I'm your guy. You want me to yes and? Not great at that. Just ne never been that great at it. You know, look, I've been on a UCB Herald team back in the day. I, okay. You pulled the wool I was on UCB's Weird eye. Ninjas exactly. or whatever, okay? <laughs> But uh, but I, it was never like you know it's not my strong suit. Right. I, I don't have the passion for it right. because I don't know I like to make money. Uh, um, but moral uh, support. You were there for. I was there for moral yes. support. Yes. So um, but for in this circumstance, I was in, I was improvising. <laughs> I don't remember. I think I was. Uh, I don't know. There was pro I, there was drinking involved. Yes. It was the. Uh, Early 2000s. Heady days. Yeah, heady days. Heady days Those, of the aughts. Yeah, you guys remember <laughs> back, back when. Uh, when people the, drank? When people drank. <laughs> back when uh, Limp Biscuit ruled the airwaves. Yeah. They, they still do to me. <laughs> they never stopped ruling the airwaves. They had a new record coming out this year. I can't wait. Anyway. This whole episode is sponsored by that. Good. Record. Thank you very much, Fred Durst. Uh, today's episode of Worst Gig Ever. Am I looking at the right camera? Good. Today's episode of Worst Gig Ever is brought to you by whatever.
whatever garbage new record Limp Bizkit is putting <laughs> Chocolate out. Chocolate Starfish 2. Is, is that what it's called? It does have a stupid name. Uh, what? I know. Wait a second. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, so we go, we do this show, and it's fine. Right. It's like, but like, no one's happy to be there. <laughs> Audience, performer, right. you know what I mean? And then we ha and then the big closer for the thing is we got to bring out the big keyboard <laughs> yeah. that we picked up. Wheel it out. <laughs> not wheel it. Yeah. It was nothing. Not on wheels. It was it, it was heavy. And I got to hold it so that you got to be Chris Kattan. Well, that's yeah. yes. That's exactly it. So you got Horatio. You don't have Jimmy Fallon. You don't have uh, uh, Tracy Morgan. Right. You 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 you've got like me and Brett Gelman. Right. And I'm the Chris Kattan part. <laughs> In, in, and it was like, uh, wait a second, I'm cr I'm Chris Kattan <laughs> at a college in Albany, and it was just I just I just remember thinking like, th there's show business, <laughs> and then there's whatever this is. Right. Uh, Jake, we know that you're unbelievably famous now, but uh, do you got any worse gigs from pre-fame times? Yes, when I was eight years old. Uh, there was a, uh, there were two video stores across the street from my house growing up in Philadelphia, and uh, I liked to just go to the video store. It was West Coast Video. I just liked to go there yeah. and um, and and work. Like I, <laughs> and basically, like I was just basically hanging out. Right. But they, you know, they put me to work, and like West Coast Video. The uniform was a red polo shirt with a name tag. Well, let me tell you something. I, as an eight-year-old Jewish kid, I had access to a red polo shirt. Don't worry about it. So I was I, a little stressed yeah, for a second. Yeah, but. no, I had, I, I was fine. Right. So I would show up in a red polo shirt and it was really fun. My job uh, was to put the Be Kind Rewind stickers <laughs> on the tapes. and Because uh, that was a big thing. People, you had to, you would get Well, it was just inconsiderate if you, did. if you didn't. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I mean, let's just look out for our fellow human beings. Yeah. There be was kind. also a fine. In, in There's a fine. I, they should have been, they, hey, don't be a sociopath. That's <laughs> right. one sticker. Be Kind Rewind. Welcome to society. Welcome to society, exactly. So I, um, so I would love it. I would like, you know, uh, put the, st the stickers on and, you know, now I look back on that and I think that was a bad gig. Right. And here's why. First of all, I wasn't paid. <laughs> I was paid in rental coupons. Sure. Okay? So, like, here's a free rental. Okay? The other they thing. They wouldn't even not even trust give you the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They wouldn't pay. They'd be like, wait, do you work here? About yeah. Sure. Ex yeah. <laughs> Secondly, that, like, I thought, oh, this is cool. I'm hanging out with a bunch of adults. I was hanging out with a bunch of stoned 20 year olds. Right. Who were essentially pawning off the responsibilities that they didn't want to to, to take care of right. on a child, <laughs> on a child. It was just like, oh, this, this, this nerdy kid wants to hang out. Put him to work. Child labor laws were different in yeah, the uh, late eighties. They were, yeah. Well, <laughs> see, here's the thing. Here's how they circumvented the child labor laws. They didn't pay me. Perfect. They just, it's like, he wants to hang out by, what, he's a cute, it's this cute. He'll hang out choice. by the, yeah. He's volunteering he's vol at yeah. West Coast Video. I'm volunteering at West Coast He video. believes in the company. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, until, the, 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 there were two video stores. One of, West Coast Video was first, then right. the other one opened up. That was TLA Video. Of course, yeah. And that was the good store. Yeah. That's where they had the good stuff. You think they had a copy of Mr. Mike's Mondo Video at West Coast Video? No, they did not. Or, or weren't exactly uh, a lot of Russ Meyer movies yeah, on the right. shelves. Right. So I, uh, I eventually uh, gravitated over to TLA. And uh, Did you be kind of rewind over there? No. <laughs> As an eight-year-old, you don't, you go at West Coast Video, you guys don't have super vixens? What's wrong with you? <laughs> right. So you have to go across the street. Uh, you gotta go across the street for, for some of the, uh, uh, John Waters stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and and so did, so eventually, what happened? Were you fired? I mean, you didn't really. Work wasn't there, fired. So I didn't really, how can you fire right. a child? First of all, how do you, you fire a child? Showing up. Yeah, I just stopped showing up. <laughs> but I really did. Like, I did think, oh, all oh, these guys are such cool grown ups and stuff. It was they're tw in their twenties. Yeah. Sad part I is, thought, once you left, yeah, never rewound videos. Yeah, that was, it was just but, insanity over where, there. Is West Coast Video in business today? No, it's not. Thank you very Is much. Any You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> so, Jake, you are so good at almost everything. Thank you for saying so. Uh, I agree. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing. But is there anything that you 
you know, maybe aren't as good at any worst talent you've got. I do a terrible impression of uh, Jello Biafra uh, doing guided meditation. Can't wait to hear I this would, one. I'm so psyched. For okay. <clears throat> Feel yourself relaxing through every part of your body. Your shoulders are getting uh, looser, looser still. Now your neck is beginning to relax. It's relaxing like Ronald Reagan was relaxed through the Iran-Contra affair. Sort of goes like that. <laughs> and this Lily White House of Lies. That was... This is pretty bad. My dream. That's on the Lard record, right? That's right <laughs> off the Lard record, yes. Not even doing a free yeah. No, don't. No. Don't give them the satisfaction. you have to figure that one out for yourself. What is Lard? So, Jake, you, uh, you came of age in the 90s, and, and you love music. Hey, I like to rock. You do, uh, it's, it's apparent. <laughs> Is there anything that you grew up that you, you, loving that hasn't aged well? I don't know that? about like loving, but there were circumstances in the 90s that took me to a Bloodhound Gang concert. <laughs> oh, right. And, and it's like, I, I look back on that and I go like, all right, maybe there was a, like, well, why was I doing that? Yeah. Like, you know, and not like just, like, oh, I'm gonna go see the Bloodhound Gang and leave. I'm gonna go see the Bloodhound Gang, and then I'm in the Bloodhound Gang's inner circle for a night. <laughs> and those guys are, very, you know, very nice guys. Right. And 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 I remember having fun. But what were the circumstances? Like, how the the Bloodhound? Like, I have a night out with the Bloodhound Gang. Right. It's just such a specifically '90s thing. Yes. That I think even those guys would be like. Yeah, like that, that dude from Squirt TV was saying that one. It's just weird all around, and it's very 90s, and when I think about it, I do have an uncomfortability. Right. Yeah. I, would I would like to hope that even they know that they pulled something over they on all They definitely of us. do. Yeah. Like, like a couple of guys from like, uh, like the suburban Philadelphia. Yes. Who like lucked into a thing for a moment. Literally dicking around with literally, every song that they did. Literally dicking. It was like a couple of dudes with a four track. Right. And and it's just like, and I imagine that Ween are saying the same thing, except they're like, they spent a lot more time like right. practicing guitar. And they yeah, turned it into something. Yeah. Ween are, you know, there's a legitimacy. Yeah, you think that they, they, they tried a little they, well, With Ween, it was like, yeah, let's huff spray paint and dick around. And, right. and after a certain amount of time, they became competent musicians, right. real artists and stuff. Shouldn't they just make YouTube videos? Like, is it, right. like can't YouTube have existed <laughs> then? It's like if I was to go out and like, now I'm hanging out with uh, the, the dudes from uh, Epic Meal Time or something. <laughs> We're nice guys, by the way, but like, you know what I mean? But like, if like, you know me yeah. and I'm like, oh, he's an elitist showbiz prick, that's for sure. <laughs> and then I'm hanging out with Shane Dawson or something. <laughs> Like, what the, what, how did this happen? I mean, at least we I can... know the Beastie Boys! <laughs> I was at a Bloodhound Gang concert! We should say, though, it's fairly topical. I don't know if you guys are aware, the Bloodhound Gang, back in the news. Really? They performed a concert in Russia, and the bass player took the, uh, a Russian flag and, uh, Desecrated it. I would uh, not expect any less from the Bloodhound Gang. This was gang. this was uh, by the time this airs. That's so literally <laughs> not a story. Whenever it happened a couple <laughs> weeks ago, and it remains a non-story. But now. more important than Pussy Riot. The, the, <laughs> the, the main thing you take away from that, though, is Bloodhound Gang still a band. Jake. Yes. Question we like to ask all of our guests: What do you think of the word gig? gig. I think it's gross. <laughs> It's a gross word. When I think of the word gig, I think of like, just like the sleaziest dude you can imagine on the Sunset Strip, you know, with like tattoos, like Miley Cyrus's brother, you know? Right. And he's like, hey, we got a gig at the Roxy tonight. And then we got, then we got a gig at the Whiskey. <laughs> And then we got a gig at uh, Maximum Security Prison, <laughs> where I live. <laughs> Still living the sunset dream. Yeah, I think that musicians today, I think it's a, 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 of a certain time, the yes. word gig. Like, you know, like, Gary uh, Puckett plays a gig. <laughs> you know what I mean? The uni gap is the definitely uni gap, like, We've got a gig. <laughs> but, and... Jerry and the pacemaker. Jerry and the pacemaker. They up. have a gig, yes. okay? But I imagine, like, I don't know, Yacht or whoever. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, MGMT's got a lot of gigs. M no, they have shows. Yes. They're going to play a show. Like, uh, Vampire Weekend are playing a show. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? 
But uh, yeah, it's an antiquated. The anti Chocolate Watch Band are playing a gig. <laughs> Motley <laughs> Crue have a gig. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Even even if they're playing, they're playing stadiums or whatever. Even if they're hanging out, their house is drinking. They're playing five thousand seat venues. Yes, exactly. Okay, and and they and it's called a gig. Right. Gig is a thing for gross people to say. It's for Tommy Lee rotating at his drum set. Yeah, I'm gigging it up. <laughs> gigging it up while I'm going down. Yeah. So Jake, uh, thank you so much. You've been uh, one of the worst guests we've had. And uh, we'd love to present you with a uh, worst gig ever statuette here. That's for you. Enjoy. Hey, Enjoy. what the fuck is this? <laughs> is this? Uh, it's like a little hot dog, but like, it's what is its purpose? It's just tiny. It's but like, right. it's the worst. It's, so it's just like a. It's just like it's it's a hot dog, but little. Like that, and that it's not an eraser. I don't, what do you what do you not get about that? Talk to the prop department about that one. <laughs> I would like to talk to the prop department. Well, I just here's prop the department. Th here, here's the thing. There used to be a store in New York called Think Big, <laughs> and let me tell you what this store had. You wanted a giant pencil, okay? They had it. You wanted like a like imagine like a tennis ball and a tennis racket, but huge. Right. They had that. You wanted a giant record that was like <laughs> the police's <Yeah>. synchronicity. <laughs> they had really that big. really big, and it was in Soho. Right. And it was not like uh, uncool. It was like yeah. think big. And then eventually people were like, "That's stupid," and right. it went out of business. Where'd you guys get Park this? Park Slope, think small. Think Great small. little store, check <laughs> it out. Artisanal yeah. small products. Um, I will cherish this. Thank you. And by cherish, I mean I will put it in my pocket and I'll remember it like with, like in a couple of days. And I'll be like, oh yeah, that that's cool. And You're I'll a gem, it. my friend. You're a gem. So what do you have coming up? What's, what's going on? Give us some plugs. I have a, a podcast. I know, shocking, right? <laughs> Surprise. Somebody, somebody in the alternative comedy world with a <laughs> podcast. Uh, except mine is wildly successful. It is called The, uh, uh, the Fogelmas Files, and you can get it uh, at earwolf.com and iTunes and all the places that you get podcasts. And uh, it's, it's pretty great. It's a good, good thing. Solid pod. And then I'm on, uh, you, guys, you guys do Twitter? Yeah. I'm on that. It's pretty cool. And then uh, I, I'm, I'm here in New York City to see you guys. I'm, I'm writing on the show uh, that is the best called Billy on the Street, which is very Very fun. excited to see the work you do there. Yeah. It's fun. Those are my plugs, guys. Hey. <laughs> Why did you guys do that? So Jake, this is a segment we call Do Your Best With Our Worst. We've dug out some gems from the video vaults, and we want to put your VJ skills to the test by, you know, maybe coming up with some creative bumpers for us. Great. Sounds great. All Let's right. do it. Ready. In three, three two, two, Sammy Hagar and the Wabanitas Mas Tequila from Red Voodoo. It is Jake Fogelnest here. Reminding you, Sammy Hagar is out on tour right now on the Great American Toilet Festival. The Phil Collins big band Chips and Salsa from A Hot Night in Paris. And it was a hot night in Paris for Phil making that record. You know, Phil was a guy from Genesis. He grew up with prog rock. I remember being spooked by that puppet version of him in the uh, Land of Confusion video. But now Phil's really coming to his own with big band music. Count Basie, watch your back. Phil Collins is here to stay. Feel these dreams, Baby Hugh Hef from the Rock and Roll Gangster album. And let's not forget about the original Rock and Roll Gangster, Mr. Phil Spector himself, who celebrates his 257th birthday today in jail. Robert Downey Jr., Little Clowns from The Futurist. Robert Downey Jr. is absolutely a box office titan. And one time he fell asleep in a child's bedroom. Menudo, Serenata Rock and Roll from Vin Pra Mim. And if you ever get to New York City, head on down to 14th Street and visit the Menudo store. All the Menudo merchandise throughout all the ages. You want a Ricky Martin doll from 1984? They got it at the Menudo store. We'll be right back with more Friday Night Videos. 
So Jake, a lot of uh, a lot of worst gig stories. You've got hopefully some more worst gigs to come. Definitely been one of our worst guests, and we just want to thank you uh, for for taking time to be on the show. Thank you and so much. all we want for you, we know you don't live here. We know you live on the West Coast. I don't know where you're going after this. Doesn't matter. We just want you to get home safe. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next week on Worst Gig Ever. You know, you come on here as a guest to our show, you have the audacity to... Who do you think you are? Well, I... As always, thank you guys for watching. You want more Worst Gigs? Click on us. Subscribe. Or if you want some audio versions, check out our podcast and subscribe. Thank you.